Heat 3, Lucifron, let's go. And even though our hunter is asking for an enchant while we're doing a prog raid, I'm sure it's not a sign of worse things to come. Foreshadowing is a literary plot device that Lucy's the first boss of Molten Core, so this should be a breeze. Ooh, ooh. Nice. Hi, I'm Wavesy. Phil, welcome to Jack. Trend. <laughs> Next up is the five packs of dogs, and let me tell you, it's gonna get a little rough. <laughs> Got it! We gone. We can go. Magmadar might rep as a bad dog, but Loot Pinata is a better moniker. What a Loot Pinata. Nice job. Yeah. And here's the loot for those of you that are into that kind of thing. We'll go ahead and kill left first. I'm still on conflag. Yeah, we're all conflagged. Careful. Yep. This is Light, our fearless commander and herder of caddy loot goblins. And I'd say I'm the caddiest one, but we have three ferals, so I guess I'm rooted in fourth place. <music> Molten Core has entirely too much trash, but you can call us waste management because we're taking it out. And after a half hour discussion on how not to do Gehannis, we rolled in and I basically played Treat on a Bear while the rest of the raid had fun doing whatever is going on over there. And while I love raining fire as much as anyone else, I have to admit it was a pleasant surprise when it suddenly ended and look, more loot. But that's really just an appetizer, and before we made it to Gar, Homewrecker shared some deep cut, speedrunning knowledge. Now there's a fucking cliff there. Remember the last time I tried that on that spot, he acted all fucking weird? Thank you, Homewrecker. And while lights breaking down the Gar fight, I tossed on my full fire res set and cried quietly about my meager pile of gold coins. Remember, this is just a long fight, guys. Nice and easy. Here's the rub. Beat up the small boys, then beat up the big boy. That's really all you gotta do. And aside from the two best healers I've ever met and myself almost letting the main tank die this fight, it went pretty smoothly. All right. I got you. Yeah, I was out of range. I got him now. Wee! Wee! Oh my god! Wee! Oops! It's fine, no one died, and after some loot and a little self-congratulatory gossip in the secret healer channel, we were finally on our way to Baron Geddon. Let's talk about light. Does anybody Ooh. have questions, comments, and concerns? This Remember, this is real easy. This man's a gamer who once made so many flasks at once, he used me as a backpack for extra mats. In comes Baron, who puts bombs on everyone and otherwise is easier than a Texas two-step. Just keep bombs out of the raid and away from each other, and he might as well be another loop pinata even on Heat 3. Oh, and he throws occasional temper tantrums that look like this, which, while hilarious, isn't exactly threatening. He's at what percent? 35. Okay. Let's try. And here are the drops for all you goblin boys. Whatever you feel comfortable getting, Adurus. This is what separates average guilds from great guilds. Being able to trust each member to do what you need them to do without holding their hand. And of course, Jobin is set up perfectly to grab the core hound and have it ready in position. We may not be Noda, but there's a reason we're number one on wild growth. Next up, Shazra. You don't need fire resist for this fight unless you do fire damage. You will spill reflect yourself for a billion damage and you will die without resist. Now Shazra cosplays as an arcane mage that was played by a 9 year old when arcane explosion and blink are the coolest skills in the game. And he casts a curse that reduces arcane resistance which definitely isn't annoying at all being one of the only people with the curse. He's dead. Yep, good Great job. And wouldn't you believe it, Shaz also drops loot so here's what we got. I am going to be out of arrows pretty soon. How many arrows you got left? Light has the patience of a saint and I don't, but I forgot to record my audio like an idiot so you can just insert my passive aggressive reaction as you see fit. To be charitable though, Mori was a melee hunter who put being a team player first and put the bow back on, but if you run out of arrows in the middle of a raid, you're definitely getting a spotlight in the video. We get ready to pull Sulfur on and this method is already outdated, but it worked for us. Interrupt the healers, burn Sulfuron, don't let the tanks die, happy days. We just stacked the healers, gave them the classic cleaves since they share a health pool, and let Sulfy Boy catch some strays before they all fall down. More loot! <coughs> Golemag, also known as free loot that's never killed a single raider. Okay. Joking aside, Han didn't even attack the dogs yet, so I think it must have been something personal. And of course, he is a loot pinata, and he is one that lives up to his name. Major Domo Executus. 
which seems to be a bit of a misnomer because this little rat runs off once all his goons get goofed on. But don't worry, he'll be getting his later. Don't do shit. Don't do shit. All right, do shit. Stack in the bubble. Now, Domo is a pretty straightforward fight, but let's break it down. He does that sometimes. Besides that, kill the three healers, kill the three big beefy boys, and don't die. That's it. That's the fight. Nice. More loot. And here's the last fight. Ragnaros. Remember when this fight was considered hard all the way back in 2004? Me neither. I was a child with like a level 20 paladin. And it's so satisfying to see Domo get what he finally deserves. Look at this dude. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> Rag is another Texas two-step for the melee. Range don't stand too close together. Easy enough. Then he goes for a swim, his snot-nosed children come out, so you clump them up and turn them into bindings before Hammer Boy comes back. They'll drag you in, so you have to use your W key, but I'm sure you can do it. Okay, 2%. Burn him. Over. Well done, well done. Okay, go. Hell yeah. Was... Nice loot. Would have been pretty cool to get a hand of sulfur on, but you know, I'll take it. What, what, are you talk what do you mean a, a giant meatball? I won't lie, this giant meatball, I mean, the Molten Core, is actually a little trickier than the rest of these has-been raid bosses. That fire pulse is annoying, but you do have FR gear, right? And this is a spicy meatball, so our Hydraxian friends, they'll be giving us a bit of help. He'll also drop a meteor, so move out of the way, easy enough. Now, let's watch that again. He's going to cast Heart of Cinder and Heart of Ash on two separate people. You will need to move together immediately, or the entire raid will die. Meteor. Debuff. Now this meatball has its own fiery children, which you can kill, you can banish them, let them beat up on the Hydraxians, you can root them or CC them, whatever. It doesn't matter what you do, just keep your eye on the prize. And that is the big Bernie ball that's taking up half your screen they're on all and kill it two percent let's go let's go oh, gotta God. make it quick did it let's go you still got the whole Ooh. doomsday cast Fuck yeah boys there's no better way to end heat three than with a molten perdition blade i know i didn't shout out everyone here but i love raiding with each and every one of these guys and i wouldn't want to be anywhere else so like the video hug your loved ones today apply to trend if you're a top tier player wavesy out